You it's sciency. It is. Did you like that? Sciency. That was very fun. I like that. I like that too. You know, it's always inevitable when we get snowstorms that come in. People are always complaining about that we're not getting the streets cleared fast enough. Of course. It goes all the way back to 1913 when we had our worst snowstorm. They even complained then. That so the hard to get the get plow on the horses though and yeah. just to kind of move it through. <laughs> when you think of modern day uh, clearing the roads, take a look at the video here. Yeah. This is kind of what you would think of when you see modern day kinds of things. They're scooping this stuff. Sometimes we don't even know what that stuff is. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to tell you what it is today. Magnesium chloride, uh, most of it. And they scoop it in there and then they put it out on the streets. They used to use salt. Uh, so in some places they've used calcium chloride. We have a huge debate here in Colorado. Should we be just using rocks? What happens when that turns into sand? So we kind of wanted to talk about the science of it and mm -hmm. uh, and see kind of what that looks like. So first of all, you have to understand the science of melting, right? right? And ice melting. So I just have a container over here of water and ice. So easy to do at home. Pull the thermometer out and take a look for them. What is it? It says zero in Celsius. In Celsius. I have this fancy thing, thanks Home Depot. Uh, you sit here and you look at it and you go, what does that read at? 29. About 29. Sometimes, so it's a laser that hits it. 30 degrees, so about what it is. Okay. Right, so so uh, that's what we would think. So if you want to pull that out so we don't break oh, it, oh, let me oh, just okay. take regular uh, salt, right? Let's so here's sodium chloride, just regular we'll salt. Break it. What are you well, going to do to this ice, I'm Steve? just going to put ice, or put a little uh, rock salt in there. Okay. No big deal. So now take your hand and put it down in there and move it around. Just move it around. Keep on going. Wow. <laughs> no. No, no, keep going. Keep it in there. Don't be a sissy. <laughs> don't be a sissy. <gasps> what does that do? It's is, really cold. It's extremely cold, isn't it? Look at this. Yes. Oh, my God. Gosh, we're down to about 17 degrees. Okay, really, yeah. Look, I know, isn't that, here you go, here's this. Thank it's you. crazy. So here's what it does. Um, uh, it's gonna be hard. Water is this crazy material. It lowers the melting point of ice. Mm -hmm. So it just means that water has to get colder in okay. order to freeze. So if you put rock salt like this into, oh, it is cold, into here, <laughs> then it melts. In order for something to melt, it has to rob energy from something else. So without getting too nerdy on you, okay. if you take ice cubes and you put it in iced tea, the reason the iced tea gets cold is because the ice melts. And in order for ice to melt, it has to steal its heat from something else. It steals it from the iced tea. Got gotcha. it? So here's what's weird about this whole thing. Take a look at this. Yes. Something you can try at home. This is just um, uh, an ice cube, okay? So a, a, a round one that right. we had. So if you take a piece of string, for example, and had this in water, and you put this over the top, nothing fancy happens. But now I have some rock salt. So take a look at the salt that is here. So here's some of the salt that we would have that you'd use for ice ice cream okay. so a little of that can go on the top here and a little bit of water goes on here like this now all of a sudden it melts right, right. and I let this one sit for just a couple minutes and look at this it picks it up with no wow. problem so it refreezes okay. so if you think about that when you put down the salt then all of a sudden that top layer can refreeze yes. a little bit colder it has to rob the energy from something so okay. they started looking at it and saying well maybe there's something better than salt may, what, what else could you use well you could use calcium chloride mm -hmm. this is calcium chloride so I want you to see what this is like hold under the bag okay okay you've paid up your insurance stop it all right here's calcium chloride look at this so that's why if you show the camera what that looks like a little bit more like B Needs, right? Yes. If I add some water to this calcium chloride here, right. now what I want you to do is I'll seal it up. I want you to squeeze the bottom and, and feel it. And see what you feel. Oh, it gets wow, really warm. It's hot, almost like a hand yeah. warmer. So calcium chloride, this is the main ingredient in pickle juice. So you eat calcium chloride, but this is extremely corrosive. If you take a look at the video here, or the pictures that we have here, take a look at the concrete. Mm -hmm. They're using magnesium chloride now, and this is scaling that you see on concrete sometimes. Wow. So this allows for the expansion and contraction of concrete. So you put that down and all of a sudden that can do some damage to the road. So it's a never ending battle. A lot of people are like, they're yelling at the screen right now, rocks, put right. rocks down. Well. Rocks are a problem too because it becomes very fine sand. Particulates go up in the air, uh, add yep. to pollution, go down into the to the beds. So no matter what we do, up and down I-70, you see problems with those trees and, you can't make and the wildlife. Happy. You can't make everybody happy, but you understand the ice. Something better than just salt. But all I can say is go to the local car wash and get your car washed after big storms because this is extremely corrosive. Really you got to get this off of your uh, your car as fast can as you possible. Start breaking it down for us. And give these people at CDOT just a little bit of break all right a little Back bit up of a, a little break. bit They'll and they're up. doing a great job we'll and eventually. absolutely <gasps> look at that it's absolutely amazing it goes into it we'll be right back